So welcome back to our next video in the series on the basics of multiple myeloma. And in this video, we'll focus on something called immunoglobulin production. Now, if you haven't heard of this term before, don't worry about it. I'm going to discuss it in detail. But um, I would strongly recommend that you watch the introduction to multiple myeloma video first if you haven't seen it before. But as a quick recap, um, we said that myeloma is a cancer of so-called plasma cells. And plasma cells are part of your normal immune system. And plasma cells have the important job of producing antibodies under circumstances of infection or inflammation. And antibodies is actually just another word for immunoglobulins, often uh, abbreviated like this, Ig. And to understand myeloma as a cancer, one has to understand these basics of a plasma cell and its ability to make antibodies. So if we review this quickly, um, plasma cells can be increased in number, in other words, uh, one plasma cell became two, and two became four, and so forth, under uh, specific circumstances such as infection, uh, inflammation, inflammation, or vaccination. So in all these instances, when you get a vaccination or you get an infection, your plasma cells that are made in the bone marrow, the factory of blood will increase in number and your body will start to produce um, antibodies from these increased numbers of plasma cells. But what one has to understand about this process is that it is very regulated and um, I'm going to give an example quickly about what happens in an infection. So let's say you are infected with a particular bacterium and we're going to draw a body and a little tail so what your body would do in response it will start making antibodies against different parts of this bacterium you can have antibodies against the head for instance and they must all come from plasma cells so there will be a group of plasma cells that are all family we'll call this a little clone clone is a little is a group of cells that are all derived from the same parent but they all make the same antibody as well um, so we've got a little group here making antibodies against that part of the head and then we can have another group that are working on another part fighting this part of the bacterium they must also all come from certain plasma cells another little clone and you can of course then have antibodies for instance, against the tail. And the same thing is true here. Again, a little group of these plasma cells. So you can see you've got different clones here um, that are all working together to fight this infection. This response where we've got different little clones working in uh, uh, different ways to fight something, we call a poly a polyclonal response. So let's just say polyclonal response. And you can see the word poly means many, many little clones doing the same thing. So you can have a polyclonal response in terms of plasma cell increase. So there are many different clones of plasma cells. But you can also say there's a polyclonal antibody response because there are many different type of antibodies. Some people would say a polyclonal immunoglobulin response because that's just a synonym. But then something serious can potentially happen and that's when you get a cancer of plasma cells and there are many different cancers of plasma cells. Uh, multiple myeloma is one of these cancers and in this instance, you also start with one plasma cell that would divide into two plasma cells 
and so forth and they would keep on increasing and form a large clone of cancer cells and they are all derived from the same parent cell and this we call a monoclonal response so in contrast to an infection all these cells come from the same parent so one parent mono one um, in contrast to poly which means many so whereas in polyclonal you have many little clones here that work together when there is an infection and go away again when the infection is gone in cancer it is different you've got an increased number of plasma cells as you can see here they're almost like terrorists they keep on increasing in number and this monoclonal population of plasma cells will thus increase and also have an associated increase in antibody production and this increased antibody production we call a monoclonal antibody production because the antibodies come from a single clone and on the tests we do we see something that we can call an M protein because antibodies are proteins other people call it M peaks or M spikes all different names uh, for the same thing there are other synonyms as well monoclonal immunoglobulins or monoclonal gammopathy so in quick summary here one could see that the plasma cell let's just draw the plasma cell again there the plasma cell can produce antibodies and antibodies consist of different parts the plasma cell will produce these different parts those are heavy chains that I drew there and there are also things called light chains these are then assembled into a whole antibody which consists of a combination of heavy chains and light chains but there are often extra light chains produced as well so you can measure in the blood either the whole antibody or parts thereof such as the light chain or sometimes heavy chains separately and why is this important because these immunoglobulins or parts thereof such as the light chains can be deposited in different organs such as for instance the kidneys or the heart or nerves um, or blood vessels and so forth and they say there's a blood vessel there and a nerve so different organs can be affected by this increased production in antibodies where the whole antibody or parts thereof are deposited so also important to know that because this is a protein when it is increased it can also thicken the blood and we call that hyperviscosity and this thickening of the blood leads to a slowing of blood flow which can also cause a range of symptoms that are related to myeloma so in a nutshell plasma cells are responsible for antibody production and when there is a cancer like myeloma there is an increase in monoclonal antibody production and this monoclonal antibody can cause problems by being deposited in the organs and or thicken the blood at the same time we can use the presence of this antibody as a marker of disease activity so we can monitor whether that increases or decreases uh, over time and that can also tell us whether a patient is responding to treatment or not i hope you enjoyed that in other videos we will continue with the basics of multiple myeloma and its complications management and diagnosis